Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us for more comic book point and click action. A click I action, I should say. We to, so uh, we're back, we're at Prince Lawrence's okay. apartment, about to continue investigating. Um, let's focus on what we saw in the mirror. The magic mirror showed me this apartment. I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. No. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for him. And if he objects? We are here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive right, okay. if necessary. Official well, Fable Town business. Let's remember that. Okay, so we can have a look around. Um, if you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Remember the warning as well, this episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. So here we go. Uh, no hey, answer. Open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Uh, can we boot it down? No. Lawrence, you in there? Can we maybe go in through that window we saw the other side? Or maybe we just kick it down, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, there was a window over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there we go. Um, can we go in through there, maybe? It looks like it's open. Let's try hey. speaking. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh, let's open that up. Wait for the police to go past. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Looks like it. Come on, help me up. Come on then. In you come. Why is the phone on the floor? There they are in the picture. Is that Judge Judy? Is he dead? Oh man, I think he's dead. He is. Oh god. We're too late. Damn. Two people's dead. It's Can another murder. What the hell is going on here? Who would do this to them? Looks like he's been dead for a while as well. There's some flies about. Mm, this just got a little more sinister, didn't it? Jeez. Okay. There's quite a lot of post by the door as well. Um, right, let's take a look at him first. Has he been shot? Or has he been stabbed, maybe? No, it's a bullet wound. So what's the knife about on the floor? The wrist. Okay. Is that a puncture wound from the knife? Dry. So he's been dead a while then. Hmm. What are these pills? What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Hmm. They never really look peaceful, do they? I no, you can say that again. Know. Um, anything else around here? Yeah, look, here's the gun. I don't think he killed himself. This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. So that was before. He died before she did. So it can't have been him. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. And also, he couldn't really have shot himself here. Not, not as a suicide. Let's turn that off anyway. That doesn't really help. Alright, geez. Um, right, what's this? A shell casing. Let's see what this is all about. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. So that's the bullet that was fired then. Um Oh, we can't see that knife from here. Okay, let's back out of here. Um, let's take a look at this knife. It's got blood on it. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. Yep. I don't know why it's over here. Yeah, that's weird, isn't I just it? Don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Who knows? 
suppose it will make sense later on. What's this? Blood. Let's take a look at the blood. Huh. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something yeah. here. There was an item there that blocked the blood from spraying. I wonder what that was. The wardrobe? No, the bed was down. Okay, right, let's take a look at the blood first. Dry again? So that seems fresher than the rest then. We'll open that bed in a minute. Let's have a look at this other stuff. Before all this. You don't say, Big B. What a stunning detective you are. What the hell is this? Bullet passed through the chair. Ah. So he was in the chair when he was shot, then. We know that much. Can we take this out? We can. Okay. Why can we... use the gun on it? Now, could you, uh, stand over there? Oh, we're going to do an experiment, are we? As if you're the shooter. It's too low this down. Is... Feels strange. Yeah, the bullet hole is way too high. What are you thinking? Was he standing up? Gone over there, right behind him. Not here. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. Hmm. Or we don't have the whole story. Yeah, maybe something's been covered up. Okay, let's um take a look at this pull down bed. I'm guessing that's what it is. Let's put it down. Anything here? A note. Oh look, there's the blood. So this was down when this happened and then the killer must have pushed it back up. What's this note here? What is that? My dearest faith. What does it say? My dearest faith. Is he going to read it? Faith, yeah. I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Huh. Why is there a suicide note if that wasn't a suicide? I know his face. There are so few of us. Something very odd face. going on here. Oh, he's alive! What the hell? Oh my god. What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found Jeez. you here in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. Maybe you can identify the person who tried to kill him. Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Uh, okay, when was the last time you saw your wife? What's this about? What happened? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. Oh, oh he did shoot himself. It hurts like fucking hell. Your so what happened to his wrist? A little more to the center. Probably hit a lung. Great. At least that's how I think it happened. How does he not know? A little fuzzy. Mm. Thought it was a bad dream. Maybe because he'd taken the sleeping pills or something? Why that doesn't do explain the knife. I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself knowing I had done that to her. Done what? I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. Huh. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me, without me being here to drag her down. So he doesn't know she's she dead. That. So he she's definitely didn't do it. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been um, Oh god. Right, let's do the half truth. Because it's the square just option. Fucking go away. Your 
life is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 So we let Lawrence draw his own conclusion. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Fuck, Georgie. Georgie? Who's Georgie? Who is Georgie? Lawrence. Oh, yeah. Huh. Who's at the door? Do you? Are you expecting anyone? Interesting. No, wait. I'll try it again, you whoever it is. Out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Right, okay. Think about so we're going to pretend we're not here. Hopefully get a lead. Give me back the gun. Just in case. Oh no, that might be a mistake. He might try and finish himself off. I wonder who it is. Huh. Who is it? Who the hell's that? I don't know who that is. Uh what do we do here? Do we Do we jump out or not? Let's see what he does. We'll keep him in our sights. If he does anything dangerous, we'll have a go at him. He's folding the bed up. Why? Wonder what he's looking for. Oh, is he coming this way? Crap, he is. What's he picking up? No, 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 don't shoot him. Where's my wife, you motherfucker? Hey, listen. You don't want to do this, man. What do we do? Oh. What did you do with my wife? I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I'm just a guy looking for answers to. Right, we're coming out. He's run off. Hey. Let's get him. Maybe Snow should have stayed there with him. Just in case. Who the hell is this guy and what was he doing here? He's hey, a big, big old lad, isn't he? Leave me alone! Seems ridiculously quick for someone of his size. Oh, jeez. He's lobbing stuff down the stairs now. And again. Uh, duck. Well done. Uh, oh crap, we've got to lift it up, really? That slows down. Couldn't we have just jumped over it? Oh god. Uh, 3C. This one's open. Right out the window, I'm guessing. Yeah, there he goes. Must have gone in the other one. Oh! Crap, that's going to fall down, isn't it? Knew it. Uh, where the hell is this guy? Luckily, he's crashing and banging, making an absolute racket. Oh, holy crap! Right, oh, there he goes. We got him. Oh. Don't. He's up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Why did you run? Make me run after you. Why <laughs> did you run? What? Why did you run? Yeah. Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? Well, you were looking shady as hell. You're looking for the woodsman. Right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. And your employer is who? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. 
Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, is it Tweedledee and Tweedledum from Alice in Wonderland? <gasps> Ooh! Oh, no, you've been un knocked out. Knocked unconscious. Hello. Um. Yeah, sorry about that. Got hit over the head. With an open wound on the back of your head. Uh, what happened? What happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Right. These are ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Damn it. Come on. Well, we know up. who they are at least. The idiots gave us their names. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Okay, we're going to Toad's next then. I wonder what would have happened if we'd gone to Toad's first. Maybe that guy would have got there and killed the prince. Possibly. The woodsman's apartment. And we ended early up morning. Out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made <laughs> a real mess. Yeah. Which is still trashed. Which is worse than the day. I don't think anybody's here. Oh, maybe we should have come here first. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, sir. Someone crying? Right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Okay. Guess we're um going to talk to Toad then. Is that his son? Sounds Toad. like it. I think. Be nice in there, okay? Okay, okay. Uh. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Hello. Big B. Oh, look how and cute his son is. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bob, huh? He's so small. Yeah, we came all this way because you were rung up. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. No, so, he's lying about know, something. False alarm. There wasn't anyone here. Miss White into this. Are you sure there wasn't anyone here? Uh, not that I saw. <laughs> and if there was, they didn't take nothing. So, you know, all's well that ends. Hmm. Why was the kid crying? Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, uh, I'm sorry you came all the I'm way I'm gonna look around, nothing. actually. Someone was here, and something... Sounded like there's a lot of crashing and banging going off on that phone call. wasn't a complete waste of time. I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave. Okay. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut. Up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Well, have a cup of tea. I'll be the judge of that. Like. Yeah, a cup of tea sounds good. TJ? Reminds me, I might have a cup of tea in real life. Actually, I haven't had a cup of tea today. There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had. Oh my God! Look how cute he is. Collection, and I was wondering if you could. Perhaps let me see it. It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> He's so cute. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. I'll be the judge of nothing. All right, what's this? A busted latch. The lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Rotted just like everything else in this bloody building. It rotted. Something tells me you're lying, man. It's like playing L.A. Noir again. Again. Like I said in the last one, or whenever it was. Uh, why is there a smashed lamp here, Toad? Something's not adding up about your story, mate. Fucking hell. Damn 
thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Right. What's the deal with the plugs, man? Uh, okay, what else we got here? I'm going to take a look around down here, Toad. Because the thing is, that lamp wasn't plugged in because there's no plug socket. What's this? A stain. Why is there blood on the wall? Bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. All the way up there. Blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound mm. didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I thought you were a toad. Maybe is a frog, I don't know. There is actually a difference between frogs and toads, so... What's this doing here? Why has it got blood on it? You're not telling the truth, Toad, are you? More blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like you said it was your hand a minute ago. If you're gonna say something, out with it. I thought you cut your hand. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, a flip of events, really. Digging a bit of a hole here, Toad. The blood wouldn't be there either. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you Dunno. everything that happened. Why Looks like don't that was you believe swung. me? I mean, things happen, you know. Yeah, I think you're hiding something. Maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not yeah. bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna look around some more. I think. Yeah, we are. Right. Let's have a look at this window. Nothing broken here, so no one came in this way. Ah, but what's that? Something on the window frame. Scratch marks, maybe? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the window, sir. And what's that about? No real reason. <laughs> That's not a very good Just last night, explanation there, out, mate. I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. Right. And what I was your the kid then? Through the bloody window. Couldn't your kid have let you really? in? Scared Junior after death. Hmm. We'll see about that. You heard uh, the new. Uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? <laughs> Bloody hell, Bigby! What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I let the tap water running. Why didn't Junior let you in? What's the you wouldn't of need all keys. This, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys. Since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Yeah, the lock's been broken for weeks. Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking yeah, hell. Toad. What are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. If you say so. Right, let me carry on having a look around. Got anything else here? What's this? Dust ring. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, no, I there was something there. That's where the lamp was. So how did the lamp get from here 
to all the way over there. Come on, out with it. The broken lamp was here. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know the what happened to it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlet. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? It's Come on, Toad. You're such a bad liar, man. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was Why? looking what are you hiding? to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry. Because you're hiding call. something. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. No. Not yet, you say, to my face. And you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody house. When I say it's so. It's not seemly. When? When I say so, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied, Toad. I cut me in. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? Come on, she spill the beans. Much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress. <laughs> Toad's kid is so cute. Mr. Toad, you're Oh, he's bleeding. got a cut on his head. Take off the hat. There's the cut. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, thumb or D. You got to strip ah. down Johnny's before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, so I'm guessing it was the other one who was here. The one who hit us over the head. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. A Toad Jr. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get it. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us. I'm sorry, man. I had to go and do the other thing. What was he looking for? What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Well, I can understand why he hid it then. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Oh, so is that the coat that belonged to Faith then? Fine bit of dress it is. Oh, is it the donkey skin? He's hidden it up the chimney. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, the donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait, what's that? Some sort of note attached to it? It's an envelope. An envelope. Oh, no, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Uh, it belongs to Lawrence. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. All right, jeez. Give it a break, Toad. You should have just been honest. I get it was why he wasn't. Very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh. See ya. 
Is that Clem's voice? And don't worry Sounds kind of like Clem's voice in season one. Just feel better, okay? Guess it's possible, right? Both Telltale games. If, looking for the woodsman, try down if anyone the knows, track. let me know in the comments below. Ah, oh, poor Toad and Toad Jr. I kind of feel sorry for Toad. More so for Toad Jr. Or TJ, as he's now known. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not What's the trip trap? Code said. Hopefully, the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Oh, okay, so we've got to track the woodsman I'll down now. It. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. That's true as well. I guess that's the truth. Okay, trophy earned. Panic in the parlours. So, that is the end of chapter 5 of episode 1. So we will continue with, I think, what will probably be the last chapter of episode 1. I don't know. We'll see in the next one. But yeah, the mystery deepens. But we are piecing it together slowly but surely. I am really loving this game so far, I've got to say. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.